Hi, my name is Mr. Hochmuth. I've probably met you before, but now this is the online me. I look a little bit, a little bit different. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, just want to go over some information on how class will look this year and how it will work. As I've talked to you in class, it's going to be a flipped classroom, which means that you'll be watching some videos at home and doing uh, more, we'll be doing more hands-on work in class where I can give you more individual help. Uh, this is the class website. I'll give you this, the link in class that you can bookmark. Just click the little star, add it to your bookmarks bar so you can access it at any time very quickly. On the front page gives you information on the units that we'll be going through. And it also talks about accelerated algebra. I'll talk about that later on in the year um, when I feel that there are some students that uh, can progress a little bit quicker through the curriculum. I'll give you that opportunity to do that. But just a general overview of this website, you can look at the tabs and it gives you more information below them. Uh, each unit is listed with all the, the lessons below it. And under course syllabus, actually that should read, how does this course work? I'm gonna change that. It gives an introduction to the classroom, the basics, how you're grading in the syllabus. And under math tools, it has some links to some different uh, websites that we'll be using. Google Classroom is how I'll be going through the day-to-day -day activities of class. I'll show you that in just a second. And the pacing guide uh, talks about, um, I'll just click the link and show you. That gives you the link to plan book, which is where I will record lesson plans. So if you happen to miss a class and you're wondering, well, what did we do today? Did we do anything? Of course. We always do something in class. So you could look up your class and see, oh, I'm not in geometry, maybe I'm in algebra. Simplify square roots and tells you what you were supposed to do. So there's absolutely no excuse for you not to do your work. Uh, Google Classroom, click that link, it'll take you there. I need to make sure I'm signed in with your Shoreland email account and then in class, we've already signed up for the class, but you would just click on whichever class you need. and It would take you um, to the website where it will list all your assignments. This is where you can find assignments, find all the information you need for class under this about, in case you forgot where the class website is. Here it is. Here's the link to it, the link to the syllabus as well. So that's information that's always there in case you forget how to get to the website. The website will have all the information for the year. Uh, this is just the day-to-day -day assignment. So if you're one of those people who likes to work ahead, or if you're going on vacation and you need to work ahead, uh, you can get all the information uh, for assignments there. You don't have to wait for me. So typically I'll post an assignment for the day of, or the day before of what you're supposed to do. So, for instance, this introduction to flipped algebra is what you should do right away. Uh, here's a video link if you need to figure out how to use Google Classroom. Otherwise, once you open the assignment, your review is a little bit different than mine since I have the teacher view. But it'll take you to the assignment. You can open up the Google Doc, which is what you will be turning back in after you've answered all the questions. So, it'll look something like this type your name, and then you go through all the tasks that I watched the student intro video. Well, maybe I don't need to, so I already know how to use Google Classroom since all my other teachers use it, so I'll just put next there, I'm done, or whatever else you want to put in there. Maybe put a big smiley face. Uh, then go through the list of the different things, the introduction to flipped classroom video. Um, that's what you're watching right now. Uh, bookmark the algebra class website, I already talked to you about that. Read the introduction of Flip Classroom letter. Uh, that's back on the website, and I have given you a paper copy as well. So if we go back to the website, I can find it here. Uh, so here's the letter. It explains how the class works, and you should look through that, and if you have any questions about that, I will be glad to answer that or help you out. So it just explains how the class is going to work, the rationale beside, behind why I'm doing the flipped classroom. It's for your benefit, so it uh, just gives you more detailed explanation and expectations of 
what's required of you in the flipped classroom. And then I just ask you to uh, have your parents fill that out and return it um, next time we have class. Uh, the next thing on the list is to uh, read the basics of flip mastery page, the grading page, and the course syllabus. Those are found on the website here. Basics of flip mastery just kind of explain what this means. This means you're watching a lesson and taking notes. Then you ask questions. I'm going to ask you to write a summary or ask a question every time after you're finished. And we'll talk about that in class the next day. And then the next day we'll complete practice problems and I'll, I'll give you some problems to do in class. And I'll even give you the answers to check to make sure you're doing it right. But I'll be available for questions as you're working through it and so will, your, so will your classmates. Also give you some application problems, some deeper thinking problems uh, that we'll work on together in class, sometimes in pairs and groups or on our own. And we'll get get opportunity to um, ask questions on those. And then after a couple lessons, we'll do a mastery check, AKA a quiz. And in that quiz, uh, I'll expect you to get at least a passing grade or at least an 80% uh, to make sure that you really understand. If you don't, well, I'll give you some more practice to make sure that you understand. So it's very important that you are paying close attention as you're watching the video, taking notes, making sure to list any questions, highlight things in your notes that you want to review. And then when you're doing the practice problems in class, this is really why I want to do this flipped classroom is that uh, I'll be available to answer questions instead of you going home and trying to ask mom or dad who maybe have forgotten uh, how to do algebra. Um, I'll be around in class. Your classmates can help you as well. So the idea is that you'll you'll learn it a little bit stronger because you're having some more help with you. Typical class they talk to you about, you got video notes practice. Um, every two to three lessons we have a quiz and I'll have a quiz. We'll review previous lessons on quizzes. I'll, I'll announce when those are as well. At the end of the unit, we'll have some kind of summative assessment, assessment which means test or a big task which is a bigger problem that we'll work on. Uh, then the grading, how you're graded, you can read through that. If you have any questions, please ask at that time. Uh, then, uh, once we get to the assignments, I'll post on the assignment the video, the notes, which I'll print off for you in class uh, to have. And then here's the practice problems. The application is something that we'll go through together in class and the answers that you would check. Uh, as you go through the video, I'll have you summarize or ask a question. You can post that down in the comments section. And then you can just mark this assignment as done when you're completed with it. But like I said, you can find all that information on the website as well if you click the unit 1.1. It's just a little different format. This website will also give you the online practice. And I'll try to put those links on Google Classroom as well if you feel you need extra online practice. So that's the basic introduction. If you have more questions, I will talk about it in class.